Waking yeah, Tara in the we're building. Waiting on, we're waiting on the waiting season. I'm saucy. Okay, we'll okay. Finally give his balls a tug and hurry up. So hurry up, dude. Was taking. <laughs> I, I was having trouble logging in, so it might, he might be having the same problem. Oh, there's Saucy. There he is. And then it defaults with everyone's uh, camera thingy off and mic off automatically, because it's kind of weird to enter and you're like caught off guard. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. How's the day though, dude? Pretty good. Hello? Yeah, yeah, doing great. Oh, he in the car. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Give me a hell yeah! <laughs> How you doing, Saucy? Yes. <laughs> what's up, man? Chilling, chilling, chilling. So we got. We're waiting on. We're waiting on one more. One more member. You said. Uh, no, Saucy is the one member that we're waiting on. Okay, hell yeah. Well, gentlemen, I appreciate you joining well, us. Tell him to hurry up and join. Where is he? <laughs> He's here. He's right I below. Mean, a joke, sorry. <laughs> gentlemen, if you're good, <laughs> could you please uh, properly introduce yourself? Let us know uh, what you do in the band, whereabouts in the world you are, and plug or promote anything that you would like. Sure. Uh, my name is Ben, and I play keys and guitar in the band. Uh, I'm in Jackson, well, Richlands, North Carolina, and uh, Saucy. Uh, I'm Saucy. I play cowbell. Hell yeah! No, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And now I, I play bass. Um, I slap at a bass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I live in Richlands as well. Well, BFE outskirts in the woods. You know, wrong turn type stuff. Um. Yeah, been with Waking Terror for many years now. Um, plug. Yeah, we're working on a new music video. Um, we're also writing a new EP. Um, we're just trying to get as much contact out there as possible. You know, we have Facebook. We're on all social medias. We're on TikTok, um, uh, Snapchat, everything, <laughs> Twitter. We tweet. Tweet. Little Tweety Birds. Hell yeah, I'll have to follow you guys we, on Twitter um, then. I oh, appreciate that. Um, What'd you get for we, dinner and tonight? We, uh, well, I, McDonald's, I'm currently at the ED. I'm at a hospital. For oh sure. no, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. My significant other, she's very old, and she <laughs> might have broke her ankle. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Watch out for the flying fist, bro. Dang. You can't be in my interview. <laughs> you can't How'd you guys come up with the how'd you guys come up with the band name? Um actually um, it's real funny. Um it was before either one of us joined <laughs> were not originally. But uh they used to practice at our guitarist uh Zach's house and he had a wife at the time. Her name was Tara. And they would always have a running joke. Oh, sh sh be quiet. You're going to wake up terror. You're going to wake up terror. You're going to wake up terror. <laughs> and they jokingly said, we should just call a band name Waking Terror. I love it. That's all we do is wake up terror. I love it. I'm going to start and off that, with uh, with this track that, right here. Uh, could you explain what this track's actually about? Is it pronounced Edify? Or Edify? Edify, yes. Edify. What is Edify about? It's uh so the way that KP has explained it to me is that it's searching for your purpose, whether it be spiritually or uh, uh, just in life, you know. And then later in the album, the song transition is about finding that purpose. Oh, cool! So, cool. What was lost is now found. I love it. Let's check it out. So introduce everybody to Wake and Terra. Do you guys have a, a tentative release date for when that new music video is going to be ready? We don't currently. Um, I would, yeah, it's hard to say. <clears throat> we, yeah, we haven't filmed right it. Now we're, 
uh, a concept of it. Um, you know, we, we got a lot of like simplified content and and we just want to just the right um, fit for what the, the music is. I got you. What what after that's out, is this part of is this something that's already out? Like everyone can already hear that song or is this brand new material that's for a release like a future EP or oh, album? No, it, it, it's off of a transition album, Forgotten Lore is what we're doing. Okay, 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 got you. All right, uh, the next one I'm going to play is Nothing. Can you talk about the lyrical content that went into Nothing? So Nothing is, like, really crazy. So it actually was written pre-COVID. Like, KP wrote the vocals and everything pre-COVID. But it was his feelings towards the way he felt everything was going and the direction that the country, the world even, was going in. And he just, he had the foresight and he was just like, man, this is crazy. And then COVID happened and then the lockdown happened. And I was like, we had just mixed down. um, And they sent the guy who uh, recorded it for us, Al Jacobs, um, just sent us over a copy and we were listening to it. And I was listening to the vocals. I was like, KP, I called KP. I was like, dude, are you like psychic? Because literally everything you wrote about has came to pass. It's, it's just crazy. It's insane. That's and wild. he was just like, man, I just, I just felt like something in the pit of my stomach. And I just had to talk about it. And it just it's crazy how it just came to pass. It, it, it's just insane. Let's check it out. If you, if you, oh, my bad, Ben. I'm sorry. Listen to, oh, it's okay. If you actually like pay attention to the lyrics, you're like, the fact that he wrote that pre-COVID, it's it's unbelievable. Man. And it's like every it hits on everything that was going on when we released it. You know, so Nostradamus yeah. styles. Yeah. All right, now I can't be the only one that has thought this, but do you do you like it or not like it when people say you guys kind of sound like Seven Dust? <laughs> I could have. I was gonna literally. Say Take the words out of your mouth right there, bro. <laughs> I find it to be. A, no, I, I'm saying a, it as a compliment, but does that piss you off, or do you do you like when people no, make that comparison? No, it's no. it's a uh, being compared to a I successful man. Damn. Yeah, I take it as a huge compliment. I mean, they're very talented, very successful, and I mean, they just put out good music. So, I mean, if they can compare us to that level, absolutely, I take it as a compliment. Um, you know. It, at first, it was like, oh, stop comparing us. And then it's just like really put a thought into the process, just like to be compared to such a high quality band, high talented and just so successful. It's just a huge compliment. So every, anytime we get compared to them now, it's it's thank you so much that you see us in that aspect. Thank you so much. Smart man. I like that. I like it. Are you guys down to review some bands with us and uh, do a little trivia? We'll have some fun. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need your help on the trivia, and uh, I need to know if the band had to pick one TV show or Netflix show or something like that that you guys could all agree on to binge watch. Let's pretend you're on like a long tour for for two three weeks. What would that one show be? Think about it real quick. Let me know what you think of Agbat. What do you guys think of that? Agbat, silver, silver um, spoons. Okay, so vocally, he's uh, clean vocals. Sounds like Lejean from uh, Seven Dust, and then when he's screaming, sounds like Ivan Moody from Five Finger Death Punch. I can take it. Not bad. Would, did you say overall you'd like it? Like, would you give it a yay or just it was cool? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Instrumental is absolutely amazing. Instrumentally, I hear Enter Shikari like none other, though. Yeah, for sure. Yes. For sure. That's got to be that micro Korg, I think, that that synth that's like this big with the vocoder that comes on it. I think that's they got that from that thing. Um, Okay, did you think of a a TV show or something like that? Or a movie franchise, anything? I just need a topic to to be be able to search trivia. I, I already... I mean, this now this is pre Ben. This is pre Ben. We all binge watched The Walking Dead. 
we binge watched um Cobra Kai. Uh what's that show on HBO? Damn it, John Game Snow. Of Thrones. Uh, Game of Thrones, yes, yes. Yeah, we all binge sure, watched yeah. that and we would like after every episode we would call each other and talk about it. Which one do you <laughs> yeah. think is your strongest? Like you've seen you hey, know Game the of most Thrones. knowledge. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. That that'd be something that we all could sit there and watch and just be like, Yes. I mean, not because all the nudity, I mean, but that helps. But they would know. do some <laughs> fucked up shit in that show that be like, oh, dude. But no, it's so fucking epic. You're just like, what the fuck? The Red Wedding? I mean, come on. I've Jesus cried Christ. like, I think, probably four times in that entire show. The saddest shit would be the horror door stuff by Var. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, Grown man oh, in oh, tears. Yes. <laughs> dude, yes, absolutely. Give man. me a second oh, to God. look up to I look do. up some trivia for Game of Thrones. In the meantime, I'm going to play. So Hell Alfard. Now most of the times we've never heard of any of these songs before. It could be any genre. It's just an instrumental. So so it's hell. Very vibey though. It's not bad. Yeah, I, I was vibing. Very ambient. Yes, yes. yes. Gentlemen, your trivia regarding Game of Thrones is <laughs> What is the name of Rob Stark's wife? Oh my God! What is the name of Rob Stark's wife? I always thought her name was the foreign bitch because that's what they called her. <laughs> Chat, if you beat him to it, you guys get the wheel spin. Even Kay doesn't know that right now. Is it Wait. Jane something? Can we get a partial? That is not correct. <laughs> so, oh. Let's see if Chat can get it. Death Collector. Yeah, my roommate and I are. Death Collector. Internal expansion, not bad. Pretty brutal. <laughs> Fellas, what is the next song you would like us to play? Anything out of your catalog? You pick it though. You pick, you pick, saucy. Oh, your mic's muted, bro. We can't hear you. My bad. There we go. Um, you can, I mean, Mr. Mize is a pretty heavy one. I know. I feel like it's got to be a little heavy after after that band that just played. It's Zach Guitar heavy. said Mr. Mize. Somebody in chat. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Tell him tell him to get out of chat and get in this freaking conversation. How about, now, now, even though that is kind of an older one, do you guys still play that one in the set? Absolutely. Uh, it actually requested a lot. Hell yeah, cool. All right, so I'm going to give you a Redemption Game of Thrones trivia question, and I think it's even easier. So we're going to give you one more shot. Game of Thrones is based on the novels under what name? What were the title of the books written by George R.R. R. Martin? R.R. R. Martin! i to get my head cut off. Blood and Stone? Is that what you're like asking? Like fire, like fire and ice. That is correct. Lloyd beat you. Edgar, you get to add something to the wheel. Let me know in the chat what you'd like to add to the wheel. And Lloyd, that one's for you. Why can't I pick? No, because it wasn't on you. This this one is yours right here. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> here we go. Up next, Big Sugar. Yes. From the electric mother. <laughs> All right, fellas, what what would you say? Or Lloyd, I haven't given you a chance to ask a cold question. I'm sorry. Do you want to ask something, Lloyd? Yeah. So, I mean, I know you guys talked a little bit about like the band getting brought up. Like, how does everybody meet? Where did everyone get started? And what do you guys do for a living? The side band stuff. Uh, so we've all kind of. Oh, Saucy's You're muted, Saucy. Saucy's muted again. muted again. Sorry, sorry. I was muted again. Sorry. Um, I, my occupation is I am a professional hog fucker. What? Um, like animal? <laughs> cool. Whatever pays the bills, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that what your OnlyFans link for that? Yes. I'm 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 a hog farmer, and 
part of my responsibility is finding hogs in heat and uh, artificially inseminating them. Oh, cool. Oh, you were serious, huh? All the bacon yeah, he the can eat. <laughs> yeah, no, he played that well. I'm serious as a heart attack when I say I'm a professional hog fucker <laughs> and I don't give a fuck if anybody judges me. It's like the best thing to say. What do you do for a living? I fuck hogs. Fair yeah, enough. It sounds like a gross but kind of interesting occupation. Like, I wouldn't be against it. Fucking whatever. <laughs> People do it with horses all the time. Exactly. <laughs> what about yourself, Ben? <laughs> a lot of uh, heavy equipment to deal with, so, you know? I feel you, man. You're doing God's work. Don't worry. <laughs> yes. Feed it what about home. you, Ben? <laughs> I am, uh, <clears throat> I work in insulation. I install insulation. You a handyman, and... huh? You got a tool belt? Mm, nah. <laughs> I've got one, but I don't ever wear it. All right, that was the jokey question. How does everyone get together and, like, form this? Like, who met who first? Like, because it said, uh, you mentioned earlier that it was before Ben joined, so I'm assuming, like, everyone's kind of come at their own time. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Um, I I met KP in high school, um, ninth grade, first. Um, he was, uh, he had cornrows playing <laughs> saxophone, and I teased him so hard. Hey, he, came, plays, he plays sax? Do you guys have sax? I don't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. Do you have sax in any of your tracks? No, no. and I've, I've told him in the past that we should. Hey, yo, what the sax fuck? I know, right? Like I was like KP, you play saxophone, bro. Come on, man. Dude, that'd like, be no, so man, hard on, if man. there was like a, like a crazy build up to like a, just a nasty breakdown, but that he was like playing sax before the breakdown hit. People would be like, "What is happening? What is happening?" And he just tosses it to to somebody, and they watched? grab it on the side of the stage and just. <laughs> have you ever have you ever listened to Shrezers? Yes, yes, I have. I'm not a biggest yeah, fan of them now that they have a different singer, but uh, definitely was a big fan of them when they had the original OG singer for a while. They had a bunch of cool songs. Lloyd, do you know yeah. that band, Shrezers? Oh, we got to play them. Can we throw them in real quick? Yo, that could be KP, bro. That could be KP rocking out with you guys, man. Take it there to a whole new level. Imagine if they named their band Brazers. How many fucking people would be confused Googling okay, so that? It was called, it was, it, they had to change it for some, like, that exact reason, I actually think. Brazers is, like, I'm pretty sure, like, a porn thing, I'm not gonna lie. Right, and That's and their their logo like, even looked like it, and they got, they had to change the name. It, that. Yeah, it does. Don't ask me how I know this, either. That's funny. <laughs> we are, we are show hosts, bro. We have to know everything. It's true. We have to do our research. No, no, no. Fellas, we got time yeah, for I do one a lot more of research for this show, man. <laughs> we got time for one more of your of your tracks. What would you like us to play? Let's go out on a high note. If you're about to be interviewed by a label right now and they said play the song that means the most to you guys, what would you pick? But it also has to be something we haven't played. Mm. Transition. Transition. Yeah. Just quick with that. Good. Let's go. Guys, if you're feeling the music, please hit the follow button on Spotify for Waking Terror. That'd be awesome. Hell yeah, well done. Well, Where did you get the name Saucy from? The real story or the story I tell everybody? I mean, the real story, as long as it's not going to get us kicked off Twitch. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, I'm saying. Uh, I was uh, in high school. I was dating this girl. And I was uh, doing ex oral. There you go. Oral. That's okay. And Okay, oh, and uh, yeah, uh, she started. Okay, and I got my red wings. Nice. And so she writes in my. Yeah! She writes in my. She writes in my yearbook. Thanks for pizza sauce. No. <laughs> and when my buddy saw that, one of my buddies Damn! saw that, he's like, "You saucy motherfucker!" And it is legit stuck since my freshman year in high school. <laughs> Can't believe she wrote that. That's yeah. fucking wild. It's a uh, yeah, dude. That's, that was a little that gross of a story, but not as bad as I thought it would be. That's okay. That's okay. Some yeah, of us have been there. Some of us have not. <laughs> Got to get the red wings, man. Got to get those red wings. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, fellas, um, <laughs> what what do you guys got lined up for the rest of 2022? 
as far as like summer and beyond? Um, we're um, actually working on a possibility tour going out with a uh, national act. Um, uh, Hell yeah. We made some connection with some stuff that we played with uh, this band. So we're we're hoping things go through. We all really connected, and it's actually a band that we uh, grew up listening to. So you know, we love them a lot. So it's pretty cool, you know, looking up. It's it's awesome when you open up for a band that like you idolized when you were younger, and they just they're super cool. Um, we're working on getting on some uh, larger festivals. Um, uh, hopefully, you know, stuff works out with that. But just definitely playing as many shows as possible, uh, recording this EP, dropping that music video, and just trying to get as much content out there as possible because we want to be in everybody's face. We want everybody to Let's know go. That That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Well, we hope it happens, guys. Um, next national show we have coming up is uh, April 8th. We play at Hooligans in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Uh, with Fire from the Gods and From Ashes to New. I love Fire from the Gods. That's going to be a good one. If you guys are in that area, That's please go next, support them. Our, our, our next national is with Gemini and Syndrome and um, oh, yeah, Adelita's. What am I saying? Yeah, Man, yeah, what yeah, yeah. the fuck, dude? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Dang it. Well, you can see which one I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Yo, Fire the Gods acoustic shit cool is fucking them, fire. fire. Yeah, they're dope. They're dope I wish live. they did a whole acoustic album. Yes. Hell yeah. Yes. Well, well Ben and Sauce, we appreciate you guys joining, man. Uh, we, we hope uh, that you guys get the, the music video out soon so we can start rocking it on the show here. And uh, we hope you guys get that national that national touring act. That would be mega huge for you. We know it would be. And um, we appreciate your time, man. Thank you guys for hanging out and just chilling and being cool people, dude. Absolutely, Absolutely brother. Welcome. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers. Of... Yeah, you guys too, man. Thanks. Thank you. Ben and Saucy of Wagging Terror! Yeah, hell yeah!